Today I'm going to make a 6 amp hour battery pack by combining these two battery packs together. I did this hack before and I made a 10 amp hour battery pack about two years ago and it's been working fine since then, never had a problem. But thing is, this thing is too big and if I want to use it with my power tool, it's quite heavy. And uh, I use it on my electric bike. But sometimes I want to use it for my electric scooter. But this is getting too big to fit inside the uh, electric scooter or uh, electric go-kart. So with a 6 amp hour battery pack, it's going to be not too big and not too small. And it's going to be about just right to use with my power tool. Because it's not going to be too heavy and uh, it will fit perfectly in my go-kart and other electric vehicle. And from 4 amp hour to 6 amp hour, I have a significant improvement in runtime. I'm going to get about at least 50% more runtime compared to this 4 amp hour. So first thing I'll do is to remove the case. And this case has security torque screws. And I got a bit here, but this is a long reach. So this is not going to work. So I have this here bought from Harbor Freight for about $3. Very cheap. And before you do this, make sure these two batteries have the same state of charge. And the easiest way is to fully charge the two batteries. So next, what I've got to do is to remove the BMS board from this battery pack. It's two amp hour battery pack. And it's quite easy. It's got five balance cable and two main cables. So just have to desolder them. So next I'm going to do is to cut down all the plastic here. This part here has to be flat, just like the bottom. Now that it's flat, it's time to glue the two batteries together. For my previous battery, I used double-sided tape. For this one, I tried with hot glue, but it doesn't stick. So I have to go back and use my double-sided tape for this one. I'll show you how easy it is to peel this out. So hot glue is not going to work for this project. So all I have to do is to line up the terminals of the battery. So we got the positive terminal here, negative terminal here. So we're gonna go like this. Positive terminal here, negative terminal here. So here it is. Glue together by double-sided tape. And it's very tight, not gonna go anywhere. Next step is to connect all these terminals together in parallel. So there are seven connections here. I'm gonna use my nickel strip and just uh, either solder or spot weld them together like this. And one here, one here, just like that. Same on the other side. So four connections here. So here we go, it is done. Beautiful. So with this new battery pack on the bottom here, all the charging and balancing still based on this main board over here. Nothing has been changed because all of these are in parallel. And even this battery gauge here still works as normal.
So here we go, it is finished, the screws are in and it looks beautiful. So here is another 6 amp hour. I want to make two of these because I want to use these for my 48 volt go-kart. And here is a comparison between the batteries, 4 amp hour, 6 amp hour and 10 amp hour. Alright, let's give it a try here. I got my impact driver with the 6 amp hour battery in. I also have this monster half inch wrench and uh, I wanted to compare the torque between the two. So with the 6 amp hour battery, not only does it give me more run time, it also gives me more torque. So let's see how it goes. Alright, first one is the impact wrench. Just like that. Next is the impact driver with the 6 amp hour battery. Just like that. This impact driver is actually a quarter inch hack, so it has to go through a couple of adapters to get to the half inch socket. But as you can see, it has plenty of power to open this uh, lug nut. Here's the 6 amp hour, turn on my crazy cut fit here just fine and here's my 48 volt go kart with two 6 amp hour 24 volt battery and they fit right on the back of the cart nicely Are you ready for the astronaut program? No. No? <laughs> no! Go! So we've been driving around for about half an hour and still got three bars. That is pretty good. 